Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and if you like Raspberry Pi and you like project with Raspberry Pi, this video is correctly for you. Why I'm telling it? Because one of my previous video I show you how you can use a Raspberry Pi 5, use a hat and install some hard drives to make this Raspberry Pi as an ass and they work really well and you can do great. But in that specific video I only show the basics, I show how you can assemble my Raspberry Pi in the hat, how you can cut the heat sink in order to make it work and to fit everything together and some base information but i didn't give any more information and once that i decided to make a proper system look like this print a case install my Raspberry pi put all my hard drives and start to run i have some problems and those problems that i repair i wanted to share with you guys and explain how you can avoid it and what you should and shouldn't do so, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. The reason that I never tried to deploy a Raspberry Pi NAS, let's say, because I like to do RAID to protect my data, but if you try to do RAID in a USB, it's potentially you can lose all your data. This reason that um, was a really great idea to have my Raspberry Pi 5 that is quite powerful and a hat that can put at least four SATA connections. And then what I decided, I decided to print a little bit case in order to make sense and at least to be a little bit more pre because once that I close the system and leave, let's say, the top of the task, they don't look like ugly, you have your fun to control the temperature and everything is here. What um, makes me a lot of sense? Only have a small problem. This card I got directly from the website where the instruction how to install this uh, Raspberry Pi and step by step what you should do. The only problem is that uh, this card, I don't think that aligns so well. So you have those four holes, if you try to screw these four holes, didn't screw in the correct position. In order to make it uh, to align, I needed to cut a little bit the case, what I was not so in key to do it. Also, the other problem that I have is this alignment. If, uh, if you guys see, this one, it's uh, the power supply where you connect um, the power for your system. But if you try to screw all the way down, this one will be too low and that you not be able to connect your power supply. What I decided to make it work, so I decided to put hot glue. I decided to hot glue, if you guys can see here. Let's see if I can align. Yes, here have some hot glue and they basically work well. It's quite stable, don't move anywhere and I can put my hard drives and this will work and no problem at all. So if I put my hard drives and rotate down, they still connect, they don't have any problem because the hot glue is quite stable and it's a plastic. Most of the time will be the weight down, not up, so don't have any problem. Also, with this case and everything connects, I can have my fun to circulate there. I can have this top one and everything will work. Now I'm gonna ask Alan why you didn't want to choose one of those. Simple. This idea is really great to have all the hard drives, but you don't have any tray that control it. So it's still loose. It's still no chance to make sure that nothing will block it in position. Of course, they can have those small gaps that will allow that to have the small space, but nothing make it really stable. Okay, maybe you're gonna argue that it's better to don't be all connected together because of vibration of hard drives, but I didn't like this idea. I print one, try it, they fit, but it's still not great because once that you fit it in the case, nothing block for the next one to don't move, don't move, don't move and continue on. Basically, let me get here out. Basically, when you fit here, they still this movement and that's it. But the video is not to explain what's the problem with the card and what you should do, or what's the modification that you should do. It's uh, how we can make it work. Because in the previous video, I only explained with one hard drive and show what the performance with one hard drive and that's it. And 
this one don't give all the information that we need because only one hard drive in an option that now you can do rate, it's pointless. So now I suggest you choose at least four hard drives or four SSDs and that's use it. So let's uh, come here my screen and look a little bit for what they propose and why it's inside that specific card and what I should do in other place. So here they will give all the instruction. This is the official website from Radax. What they explain this project that it's uh, use Penta hat, so five SATA connections in a hat. And if I come here, they will explain that it's really low powerful. If you wanted to do 3.5, is 10 watts. Potentially, if you can uh, get adapter, they will work. I will buy one and try to see if I can put a 3.5 hard drive. And this 3.5 hard drive will work without any problem. If this one work, great. I can have uh, four properly hard drives connected and that's a do rate with those only with extension can get a different case and continue on i didn't arrive this stage i ordered those adapters but didn't arrive yet so i need to wait until this arrive anyway here it's all the step by step how to do the installation do not go too much in depth with this because basically i already explained how you do in the previous video and here i will go down 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 and what i want to show is this information before i go here one thing that's interesting what we did in that video we decided to do all those steps but install open media Val because we wanted that this system work with a nas and open media Val work really well with Raspberry pi why not make it work with raid 5 and continue on so let's come here in the case i have a few options of case i decided this one now that i'm looking i just discovered that I have a grab card i didn't realize or at least in the time that i printed this one didn't have this specific card if I open here the one thing that i like it's they are not have a connection so basically you print the case and this case will have all the hard drives and potentially they will be better I was looking for some comments, they say that it was disappointed, I don't know if it's true or not, but anyway, this is one of the options that, in my opinion, I will try to print next, if the hard drive 3.5 don't work. Other thing, this was the idea. When I looked this, it was great. If you look here, I didn't want to get this clear one because I didn't want to get any plastic to add there. So I print all close, I put my fan here, and that I could put all the connectors. I didn't know that they will be too loose. If I knew about it, potentially I will not print this, I will do a little bit different or make my own box. But anyway, this one work for what I need. They are okay, so let's don't focus so much this. What I'm focused now is let's run this system and try to make those four hard drives to be recognized and that you can set up it. So now what I'm gonna do, I will connect this system in my network, so I'll get my network, remember this network it's only a gigabyte, so the bottleneck of my system will be potentially my network, and here we'll get my power supply, so I'll do it now. Once that I connect my system, they will take a couple of minutes until they load, until they do all the process, and once that is done, now I have my operating system, and here, they show that I have around 1.3% of load. They show that I have 82% of free uh, RAM memory and here say that's update. So what normally I'm gonna do? If I put four hard drives, I was going to go to storage, file system and create a new file system and look for RAID 5. And once that I tried to do it, I was surprised that they don't appear this RAID 5. They only appear option for dupe, RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 10. And I was really, really frustrated about it because basically I have a system that should run four hard drives without any problem to RAID 5 and now they don't give me the option. So I started to look a little bit online and I discovered that now I need to install this multiple device. If I come here in system, come here in plugs and I will put multiples. The application that we're gonna need to install or the plugin that we need to install is this one. Open media Val MD 7.0. Now it's 7.0. Potentially, when you're gonna look at this video, it will be 7.2 or 7.3 and continue on. Anyway, install it. The main application is this is to 
multiple device manage and that they say that's plugin to use to create, manage and monitor Linux MD, multiple device. Once that you install it, you're gonna see this multiple device. And here that you're gonna create your rate. You can come from here, add, select what rate that you have, rate one, two, three, and continue on. I choose the five because it's four hard drives, one can fail and the rest of the data is split between the other three. And here I decide the storage they have. If they don't appear the device here, go to your disk and try to clean those disks to make sure that everything is work. So if you clean one, two, three, four, they will appear in your list again. Why I'm not gonna create my storage again or my RAID again? Because it took a long time, surprisingly a long time, one or two hours. And uh, if I wanted to do it and wait one or two hours until I can continue recording this video, would be crazy. So this reason I will not touch it. Other thing that you're gonna see, once that you created this one, they will have a device or a crate device called AMD127. This will be the RAID, but this RAID don't have any formatation. If you try to do a share folder with this AMD127, you're not gonna be able because you don't have format for it. So you need to go in file system, and here in file system, you need to create this. So basically you come here, BTFS, come as a single because now it will be only one device not be anymore three or four and you're gonna create it in my case I already create so let's cancel here and I already create MD127 what is the format PTFS I really like this format because I like it to create snapshots and other things so if I come here show details I have um, no errors and if I come here I can do some small informations anyway if I come here BTFS because I like to do snapshot and that's now what I can do. I can come here in share folders and create my share folder. In my case, I create data. Let's say that I want to delete this one. I create, it's super simple. You're gonna define the name, Docker, location and put create. In my case, I will not create. I will return this configuration which appear again. And now I have Docker again. So here, because I set up PTFS, I can create snapshots, I can define what's the frequency, I can define how to protect it, and that's all the data will be safe. Anyway, once that I create my share folder, I don't have access for it still, because I need to come here in service, SMB, I need to enable this NSMB, and here in share folder I need to create this one. And basically it's done. All the configuration, everything that you need to be done is here. Now I'm gonna ask, Alan, what's the efficiency of this system? They really work, they don't work. What's your opinion about it? And I will say I was quite surprised with this efficiency. Why I'm saying that I'm quite surprised? If I come here in dashboard, here will be the performance. If you look, they will be moving my power, but it's still 35% utilization, zero, and continue on. And now I'll try to move files. So if I come here, I have a folder called data that is inside my Raspberry Pi, and I have the information that is here. Only to copy some information that's quite big, I have a, a video that had 14 gigabytes, and this video will try to copy, so I'll come here and put copy. Remember, my network is only one gigabyte, and if you look, it's coming 113 megabytes per second. If I open my task manager and come here, what it's give me, it's around 953 megabytes so my limit will be one gigabyte and they give 953 so it's quite good forget that this hard drive it's exactly here my side because potentially will have lost with the cable have lost with other things and that's uh, this speed can affect but if i look 952 it's pretty good and i will not be able to get anything better considering this other thing that I will try to do, I will try to copy again and I will see my utilization and if you see my utilization didn't change so much, my RAM memory didn't change so much, maybe my load will increase a little bit and if I look for properties of network, potentially they will show that it's used a little bit more than before, but my Raspberry Pi is not overload and the temperature of my hard drives is still quite low compared for the users. Maybe if they have for a long time, this temperature will grow a little bit more, 
but I always can install that fan, leave it on, and that will cool down all my system. So in this way, we explain how you can use this Raspberry Pi with all four hard drives. I will not go more in this conversation because I don't think that it's important to explain how you can use OpenMedia Val because the same configuration that you're going to do with OpenMedia Val in the Raspberry Pi will be exactly in the computer. So look one of my previous videos and I explain everything step by step. Anyway, if you guys like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time. Bye.